got to make it to Survivor Series because tonight he's involved in no holds barred against the great Kali, the man who debuted against the Phenom like no one we've ever seen before, leaving the Undertaker lying in the middle of the ring. Every time the other day comes out, you can feel the electricity, you can feel the tension, but tonight, Michael, you can cut it with a knife. It's no holds barred against the great Kali. Think about the men that the great Kali has left defenseless with his vice grip. The Undertaker last week, the Undertaker's brother Kane, Ric Flair, Jeff Hardy, Batista, Rey Mysterio. The body grip has never been broken. It is devastating. Match. You got hell in a cell with Batista, the animal. Why would you step into the carnage that's gonna happen in a no holds barred with the great Kali? Because Undertaker's the phenom. He's the legend. He's ruled his yard in the WWE for 17 years. I don't know why the hell The Undertaker wants to stare at me. That's what got him in trouble last week. He needs to take care of business against the great Kali. That's what he needs to worry about. No holds barred, no rules. Undertaker the great Kali, and here we go. The best pure striker in the history of the game. The Undertaker going right to work on the 7'3", 420-pound former world champion. Strategy, John, first for The Undertaker. Get his hands flowing. That is what Undertaker, when he's at his absolute best, he's throwing bombs. Undertaker perhaps going to go old school, going up to the top rope. Kali's in trouble. Undertaker crushing the shoulder of Kali. Kali doesn't go down, though. Michael doesn't even go to a knee. Undertaker. No way. No way. Keep it up when we return. We are back on Friday Night SmackDown. No holds barred. The great Kali and The Undertaker. And it is almost fitting that this arena has filled with that fog and that smoke as the great Kali is just manhandling the Phenom. The 7 3, 420 pounder John, but Undertaker with a big haymaker. Trying to get back in it, but Kali's right hand drops the Undertaker to his knees. John, you know, the Undertaker has adapted his game so many times over the years. Different styles for different opponents. But perhaps he has met his match in this giant human being. Never seen The Undertaker in better shape ever. The 15 years he's been here, he's never looked better, never wrestled better, never fought better. Listed, if you notice, Michael, tonight at 299 pounds. First time you've ever seen him listed below three bills. But again, he's adapted his style. Sometimes a bit more technical now, but he's just being manhandled. He's being punished by Kali. Kali, hook of the leg, and Undertaker kicks at it, too. People will always ask, what was the secret of longevity? It's simple Darwinism. You adapt or you don't survive. The Undertaker 
is a master at adaptation. And we talk about the punishment The Undertaker has taken in this matchup. He's made it a career of withstanding punishment, being able to take it all and wear his opponent down. Understands enough, he's not going to overpower the great Kali. Just learn that lesson right there, that head butt. Oh. Well, you know what he does a lot of times, Undertaker John, is like that Roman Dope Kali style. He sort of lets his opponent punch himself out. But Kali now punching himself out and almost had a win in this no holds barred matchup. And Kali with a football sized hand. This is something, Michael, you don't learn to adapt to. This is something you just hope to survive. Look at the way Kali's hand envelops the entire shoulder of the Undertaker. When is the last time you saw the look on the face of the Undertaker that you see him in? This is why I say Undertaker this, taking this match was not smart. He has Batista in nine days. Batista, the animal at hell in the cell. Hey, earlier tonight, Batista said he was pulling for the Undertaker. He wants the Undertaker to come out of this matchup with a win. Wants the Undertaker to be 100% heading into Survivor Series. And look at Undertaker back to his feet. And the Phenom rights and lefts. Now the body shots to the great Kali. I think the worst thing Batista could have done was beat the Undertaker at the last pay-per-view Cyber Sunday. You got a motivated Undertaker who just ran into a huge elbow. Good time the Undertaker musters some offense. Great Kali knocks him right back down again. You can't coach size. You can't teach strength. Kali just measuring the Undertaker. There's the big chop. Undertaker still on his feet. And oh no, the vice grip. The vice grip. Those massive hands and palms and fingers wrapped around the skull of the Undertaker. Undertaker's done. No one has ever, ever got out of the vice grip. Kali wearing Undertaker down, much like he did last week. This is what I mean. Nine days away from a world championship with Batista. Why would Undertaker take this chance? The vice grip, which has taken out Kane and Flair and Jeff Hardy and Batista and Mysterio and the Undertaker is locked into the Phenom again. Undertaker with body shots. Let me reiterate, Michael, no one, including The Undertaker, has feet. ever broke this. Undertaker back to his feet. And in no holds barred, you can't get to the ropes and get a break from Mickey Henson. And he broke it! Undertaker broke the vice grip! Can you believe it? Kali in trouble! Choke slam! Four bills plus. Shoulders down!